Okay, so today we're going to talk about the throttle position sensor on a 2001 body F350, F250, anything with a 7.3 power stroke. I don't know if this is the same part number for the gas jobs or not. It might be. I'm not 100% sure. I didn't look into it that much, but uh, so, you know, F250, F350, 7.3, anything with a build date after, uh, let's see, they changed the part number two months before this one. This one's a 12, 2000, so anything 10, 2000 or newer. You'll expect to find this under your dash. Uh, you know, uh, they had an older body style one uh, for 10, 2000, or for actually for it would be 11, 2000 and older, or uh, yeah, and older. And the throttle position sensor would sit here, and then on the back they'd have the idle validation switch in there. This one's all one closed switch. Um, you know, it's a nice typical throttle, right? Electric throttle. Part number on it is. You can focus, please. You can't see it because the flash is on. Oh, come on. It is one Charlie three four nine Frank eight three six Becky Albert. So, um, yeah, they updated this number and uh, instead of it being BA, I think what was it? It was CA, it was CA instead of BA at the end here. So if you're having problems with it and you suspect it might be that, this is the kind of stuff you're going to want to look for. Uh, particularly, it'll be bad on a hot day, I found, or if you got your heater on or something. Is the cabs warm and that and that switch gets hot, it'll uh, cut out worse. So you'll be driving down the road and then all of a sudden your truck will just, let's say you're driving, you're, you're cruising, it's at like 1500 RPM roughly. It'll just cut out like I just took my foot off the throttle there, it'll do that and it'll just hang it idle until you try and pump it or take your foot off the throttle maybe that might work i found pumping it work better um, until it gets throttle again sometimes it'll it's very hit and miss for the check engine light it might come on and then it'll turn off and then it'll come on again and turn off and usually it'll come on you'll have no throttle and then once the light turns off you'll have throttle again it's strange so if you got a scan tool and the light stays on you might have a different problem or it might actually just keep the light on i don't know scan it and see if the light stays on but if it just keeps coming on and off and you're having that same problem then um, more than likely it's that now you're going to want to make sure that when you go to ford or wherever you get your new part number from we're going to take a look at it here uh, when you purchase your new pedal you're going to find it looks very different. Don't be confused. This is the right part. The plug goes on the front. It's got those holes. But there, you'll notice there's physically no way to mount it to the firewall. So you got to buy this silly little bracket that they make that has booger welds on it that I could have probably welded better myself, blind and drunk. But um, anyway, that's beside the point. Uh, so you're going to have to buy both of those. Otherwise, you're not getting anywhere with your new pedal and you're just going to have to put your old one on go back to the parts desk and say, hey, where's this, this is the wrong part, or hey, where's this bracket I need? Um, make sure you mention that. Uh, the part number, if I can find my bracket box, here it is. There's the part number on the bracket. Um, you're gonna wanna order you one of those. And you're gonna wanna order your new throttle part number as well. Now, if you're having a problem with it, you really need to limp it somewhere. One thing I found worked really well was you turn your heat to cold, set it to floor, and then just let the cold air blow on full, let the cold air blow on the position sensor there. And then I never had any problems with it while it kept cool. So give that a shot. And if that doesn't work, then what you can do is just use your cruise control to drive around. I don't recommend it if you don't have to because it's a pain in the ass and I'm sure it's not great for something in the in the uh, cruise system. Well, actually, that's not true. This is electric. It doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, so you got to be above 30 kilometers or 20 miles an hour before you can use it. Just, you know, drive around with your cruise on. Um, that'll get you home until you can get your part number and uh, then you're good. So yeah, I just figured I'd make a video on this because I couldn't find anywhere uh, that had any diagnosis or fixes for this style pedal for these build dates um, so I figured maybe you know make a video see if I can help anybody else out that's confused because they got a different part um, yeah 
So let me know what you guys think. I'm just kind of throw stuff up whenever you want. You want to subscribe, go ahead. You don't, I don't care. It's up to you. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think on that one. Tell me if there's anything else you want to see. Um, I'll just kind of throw stuff up whenever. So yeah.